Breaking news, Google just killed Chrome OS. By 2026, every Chromebook you know will actually be running Android. This isn't just about laptops. It's about Google's master plan to unify everything under one system, powered by AI. For years, Google juggled two operating systems, Android, running billions of phones, tablets, TVs, even cars, and Chrome OS, a lightweight laptop system popular in schools and budget computers. They lived side by side until now. This week at Qualcomm Summit, Google made it official. Android wins. Chrome OS is being absorbed. Google's Android chief, Samir Samat, explained it like this. We're taking the Chrome OS experience and we're re-baselining the technology underneath it on Android. Translation, next year's Chromebooks may look the same, but under the hood, they'll be powered by Android. Why is Google doing this? Three massive reasons. Number one, AI everywhere. Google's Gemini AI needs a single foundation, and that foundation is Android. Number two, proven success. Android dominates smartphones and tablets. Now it's coming for laptops. Number three, the future. Android is flexible enough to support VR, Arkansas, and the next generation of computing. And here's where Qualcomm enters the picture. Their chips already power Android phones. Now they're adapting them for laptops too. That means your phone, your tablet, and your laptop could all run on the same Android ecosystem, seamlessly connected. So what does this mean for you? If you're a student, your Chromebook isn't going away. It'll just get smarter with AI. If you're an Android user, your devices will finally talk to each other like never before. And if you're a future tech fan, this is Google laying the foundation for AR glasses, AI assistants, and devices we can't even imagine yet. Chrome OS was Google's experiment. Android is Google's empire, and AI is the glue holding it all together. By 2026, the line between your phone, your laptop, and your next-gen devices disappears. One Google system, billions of devices, all powered by artificial intelligence. The only question left is, do you trust Google to run your entire digital life? Settings, narration, 